What's up, you two? We got a new turbo. Now, kind of cheesy a little bit. Twin turbo setup would have been cool to have a twin turbo setup on here. But we are replacing this turbo right here. Now, like I said, this one had a lot of uh, play in it compared to this one. It's very little play. And look at the wheel, like uh, how they balance it out. Look at the cut compared to this small little behind cut right here. So I want to say this might be an approved GT45. I got it from Max Speed and Rods. And the funny thing about it, the crazy thing about it, I bought this from off of eBay and they still helped me replace this. And I got this back in December. So shout out to Max Speed and Rods for taking care of me uh, with this uh, GT45 Turbo. Yeah, I'm really excited. And uh, hopefully everything go all as well. Now, I got a new sensor too for my air fuel ratio. Uh, the other one was uh, messed up. It was just stuck at 14. Wasn't giving me no reading at all. But anyway, first thing first, what I'm gonna do uh, is remove this oil line. And also I am running a new line. Running this, it's gonna be my oil drain feed line. My other one, it just started, which is weird. Um, every time I'm going boost, it would shoot oil out. So I got like a new and approved line and hopefully all is well. We don't have no leaks or anything. So once I move the oil feed line, once I move these two sensors in this long thing right here, then I'm gonna try to figure this out. I think I got another boot and another pipe. I might rerun re another, well, I might just keep the same pipe and just try to take this off. I know it's gonna be a pain trying to get this uh, off, but we're gonna try to get it off and make it work. I was gonna paint this, but I'm gonna just leave it like this and I'm gonna keep this turbo, probably rebuild it maybe. Um, let's see if they got a rebuild kit for it or something or just take it apart to look at it. I don't know. Oh, let's see. But look at this one, oh my gosh. That bit is tight. And it will look more much bigger just the just the hair but i don't know if something like got in here and dinged it up because i know when i was on the interstate i know they was doing construction and i just heard something real loud but anyway we're getting this taken care of yeah guys y'all let me know what y'all think happened as you can see y'all can see the marks but man this thing light as hell I might uh, end up keeping that. Uh, but look at this part right here. Yeah, the blade got a little cut. I probably can rebuild this, honestly. Save it for like another Tahoe, maybe, or another truck if I get another one. I mean, it should. Well, twin. Well, it probably won't twin turbo this because. I might, I don't know, I'll look into it. But y'all can see it. All right, guys, so that's it. It looked kind of shitty right now, but um, who cares? But anyway, we got her tight. Made sure she was tight. Everywhere. Um, nice and stout. wheel turner no play at all um what i'm gonna do it's like 1 30 in the morning so i'm probably gonna go to sleep for like an hour or two i'm gonna drop this video but what i'm gonna do is crank this truck up in the morning start it let it run and then i'm going to drain the oil because i'm going to change the oil and i think that's pretty much it then I have to rewrap this again, and that would be pretty much it. I ran my new drain line. Uh, I did not expect for it to be that extra home, but it is. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, run it like this for a little bit and then change it up. Cause I don't have no other uh, 10 AM fittings. But that's how it's looking under here right about now. And I just got to tidy these sensors and all that up. Other than that, I'm going to start it tomorrow and uh, go from there.